What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the More Life Podcast. I'm here with my boy Richard Dahl, aka Walking Rich. What is up, my boy? Welcome to the podcast. How you doing? What's the deal, y'all? What's the deal? What up? What up? What up? So, man, look, I appreciate you coming on the podcast. I see everything that you're doing all across social media. You know, from your uh, daddy daughter content to your eat. Your golfing content to your entrepreneur content, like it's truly amazing what you're doing, and that's exactly why I wanted to bring you on a podcast because I feel like that people out there need to see it, the world need to see it, but also people in the community, people that's newly injured, they need to see everything that you're doing so they so they know. Look, if this guy can do it, I can do it. So that's why I wanted to have you on a podcast. So I really appreciate you coming on the podcast, my man, and welcome. Man, I appreciate y'all for having me. Man, it's um a dope experience. Uh uh I appreciate uh the day we spent together. Uh we got a lot of good content and uh yeah. we got some dope stuff to show y'all, man. So I can't wait to dive into it. Let's get it. Exactly. So uh all the content that we shot today is gonna be uploaded on the very first episode of A Day in a Life of a Paralyzed Man. So be on the lookout for that. Um it's a it, Trust me, it's going to be an amazing vlog, and it's really going to be a day in the life of a paralyzed man, which is me, but also the very first episode is with my man, Walking Rich. So I appreciate it. And then also, we got the dope podcast, too. Yep. You know what I mean? So I'm looking forward to that. So, all right, look, I want to start at the beginning. Let me know what type of person was you growing up. Like, was there any sports that you was into? Like, what was you into growing up? Like, who was Richard growing up? Um... I'm pretty much the same dude, no no lie. Like anybody would tell you growing up, uh I was a, a hard headed uh young boy. Um mm-hmm. I played football, basketball, a lot of contact sports, baseball, and uh I ran track as well. Um any like I said, anybody would tell you I was I was hard headed. I, I, I didn't take uh no for an answer. I was relentless and um that's pretty much how I am now. But you know, Instead of hard headed, I you know call it you know I, I I'm more um, persistent. You okay. get what I'm saying? Okay. And uh, uh, and you know I turned that relentlessness into like uh, perseverance. You mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? Okay. Now, now, do you feel like that being in a wheelchair kind of heightened those senses, or do you feel like it kind of you know what I mean like lowered them a little bit? Um, I feel like um being in a wheelchair more so brought them out. Um. Ooh. You know, I feel like, uh, like, and, and this is what I'm more so being told by yeah. other people. Like, okay, you know, when I tell people like, oh, um, well, I'm this way now and this, that, and the other, like, people are like, nah, like, bro, you been that way. Like, you know, like, just, you <laughs> yeah. know, you just, as far as just the take charge type of person mm-hmm. and, you know, never giving up and just not taking no for an answer. Like, yeah. they like, nah, you been that way, bro. Like, it just... It just it's just on ten now, and you just not afraid to exercise it. You get what yeah. I'm saying, and it's like it's like having a superpower, but you not knowing how to utilize it. And 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 you seen those like um those those superhero movies, and um you know when when the kid got it, got got the superpowers, and they're like tearing stuff up, and they're destructive, and yeah, it's like it's they don't not, know how to utilize it. Yeah, yet. and it's it's Ooh. not until you learn how to utilize it, 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 it and, um, and harness it, and harness it, is, and that's when it becomes a gift. You get what exactly. I'm saying? Ooh, I like that. So I like that. Now, now, growing up, did you know anything about an SCI injury, a spinal cord injury? Did you know anybody in a wheelchair or anything like that growing up? Nah, for real. I I not really can't. Not not somebody that that was like like super pivotal um like or like that that nothing that stood out you get what mm-hmm. i'm saying one thing that kind of stood out like i kind of grew up like around like special need kids and stuff with my okay. godmother and stuff like that so i remember like the big like um electric wheelchairs that those yeah. um patients use like um ms or you know just different cerebral palsy and things like that like but outside of that, like not a spinal cord injury or somebody that got shot or mm-hmm. you get what I'm saying or in a yeah. car accident, like an everyday independent wheelchair user, like no, nah, I I don't I, I never knew no one like that. Okay, so if you never knew nobody like that, what was your perception of people that were in wheelchairs? Did you think that like it was just old people that were in wheelchairs? Honestly, that was my perception. It was a very ignorant <laughs> perception. Like yeah. you know when you um. When you when you think of a wheelchair, like you say, you think of somebody being elderly, like 
You don't think about vibrance. You don't think about confidence. You don't think about, you get what I'm saying, swag. Or you don't exactly. think about, like, um, you know, like, you don't think about it being something cool. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, and I think that's, like, what's, like, special about, like, our platforms and, like, what we do is, like, you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like we try to find different ways to make it cool. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. um, and just trying to make the best of it. Like, you know, mm-hmm. there's certain things, like, as a father that I won't ever get to do with my daughter. I won't say never, but you get what I'm saying? Like, as of now, I can't do with my daughter. You get what okay. I'm saying? And, you know, I have to embrace the things that I'm able to do. You get okay. what I'm saying? Like, my daughter doesn't have to walk anywhere. She don't even have to use her legs if she don't want to. And that's mm-hmm. like, like you know, I can tell that she she comes to me and she's like, like you know, pick me up, dad. Like you get what I'm saying? Like she looks forward to riding on my lap, and I can tell the way she puts her legs in between my legs, and mm-hmm. she's like, she sits down and gets comfortable. Like, yeah. like it's an experience for her. You get what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. it's an experience that. <clears throat> You know what I'm saying? Not ev- not not a lot of her peers are going to get the experience. You get what I'm yeah. saying? So that's an experience that is going to be different for her. You get what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So instead of like you know not you know instead of harping on like the the negatives about it, like just more so embracing you know the positives and embracing what we do have and yeah. those special things that we you know are able to do. Yeah. Now that's that's a. That's an area I don't really have any expertise in because I'm not a father. So, do you, so how, how do you feel like your daughter looks at the wheelchair? Like, do you feel like she looks at it any, you know, differently? Because that's all she knows. Like, all she knows is really you in a wheelchair. So, she don't really know another dad that's not in a wheelchair or nothing like that. So, like, how do you feel like she looks at it from her standpoint? And, like, do you feel like it affects her at all? Uh, I feel like... Um I feel like, like you say, it's it's been it's been normal to her since yeah. since she's been around. Like mm-hmm. since she's been born, I've been in the wheelchair. So yeah. you know, it's not like oh damn, my dad got put in the wheelchair. Like that was the norm. And then yeah. you know, um, as far as how she perceives it, you get what I'm saying. Like I really feel like that's up to me as a father. Like mm-hmm. you get what I'm saying, and like you know how much I'm willing to step up, and you know what yeah. I'm able to do and you get what i'm saying like Ooh, I like if i that. if i if i have no limits to my fatherhood you get what i'm saying like yeah. then her perception of me being the father won't be no different than how anybody else looks at their father you get what mm, i'm saying I like wheelchair or no wheelchair that. exactly i like how you put that i honestly feel like you know being in a wheelchair is like literally like it's it's a perspective i mean it's a it's a it's a it's a perception it's a mindset you get Ooh. what i'm saying like um, being disabled is a mindset. You get what I'm saying? It's not a physical thing. You get what I'm saying? You're only as disabled as you tell you tell your tell yourself yeah. you are. You get what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I feel like all wheelchair users and you get what I'm saying? I feel like just people in general that just, you know, that that's not in wheelchairs, that's that's going through different injuries and like, mm-hmm. you know, like being like being hurt is a mindset. Like you get what I'm saying? Like um this injury that you know, we all have um, have endured. You get what I'm saying? Like it's a mindset. You yeah. get what I'm saying? And that's why you see different people doing different things. You got some people that lay up in the bed mm-hmm. and they don't do nothing, and then exactly. life is over with. And then you got some people out here that's empowering the world and moving the world, and like that's productive yeah. members of society. And you got people in wheelchairs running for um, different. Like electoral yeah, yeah, positions and yeah. stuff, like you get what I'm saying, like literally yeah. moving the world. You get what I'm yeah. saying. You got people motivating people. You got mm-hmm. you get what I'm saying. People inspiring people. So you yeah. get what I'm saying. Like it's literally a perspective, and you can tell by all of our different perspectives. Like like even if you look at like like Chelsea Hill and the Rolettes and like them mm-hmm. dancing like in wheelchairs, like yeah, like a lot of people would be like you know like, but it's mm-hmm. a perspective like. Like they dance like no other. You get yeah, what I'm saying, exactly. and it's because in their head they they give it they all. It's like me being a golfer. You get what I'm saying. Like I'm no golf. I'm no different than any other golfer on the golf course. You get what mm-hmm. I'm saying. Like yeah, exactly. And that's why I love golf because you know I'm able to hit a lot of the same shots that all the able body dudes yeah can hit. And you know that's kind of why I feel like like I love poker so much because at the table it's like. 
you know, my wheelchair that really doesn't factor in. Now. Yeah, everybody yeah, see that. Yeah, 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 we all see eye to yeah. eye. You know what yeah. I mean? Like they get. That's speed. why I like driving a lot of the times. Cause yeah. when I'm on the road, like can't nobody really tell that I'm in a wheelchair. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like not like you know I mind people knowing that I'm in a wheelchair, but like that's like that one place where you get what I'm saying? Like yeah. people people not treating you different, or you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you know people don't see you right off the back and just like. You know, like try to help you, or like yeah. you know, if people saw you driving and and they knew you were in a wheelchair, I guarantee people would be like, like, like stopping, letting you over. Yeah. Like that's not happening, bro. Like yeah, you nah, gotta get not, over yeah. just like anybody else exactly. and bogart and you know make yep. way. Like yep. mm-hmm. so, and I enjoy that. You get what I'm saying? I I enjoy being treated like a normal human exactly. being. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Versus a wheelchair user. I think we all do. I hate when somebody you know like they come up to me. And then they really tell me, man, look, you're an inspiration, man. I'm just living my life. Right. You know, like, I don't, like, I don't see what me living my life, you know, like, is given, like, I don't see how it's given off inspiration. Right. Because I'm, I'm just trying to live my life just like you. It's just, it's just like, oh, if you're in the gym working out, I'm not going to come up to you and say, oh, my God, like, you're an inspiration. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, like, you're living your life. Like, yeah. so, so. Like, I, I kind of learned good. how to. I, I kind of learned to embrace that part of it. For like, real, you think so? And, oh, and I say, and I only say that because it's like not many like like comedians. They gotta be funny. You get what I'm saying? You yeah. gotta be something. You get okay. what I'm saying? Like yeah. a basketball player, they have to be talented. Like mm-hmm. you gotta be able to jump high. You have to be able to be fast. You have to mm-hmm. be able to shoot. Like okay, like to be able to be yourself, bro. Yeah, like to get. 44 million views off a video of you putting your daughter in the car. Like, that's every day. Like, you yeah. get what I'm saying? Like, you know, I won't say, like, every day, but that's that's the normal. You get what I'm mm-hmm. saying? That's a lifestyle. You get what yeah. I'm saying? Like, that's, like, not no, like, hey, bro, like, I'm going to figure out a a, 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 a a difficult way to put my daughter in the car because I know this video is going to go viral. Like, nah, yeah. like, and, you know, just us hanging out, you know, you're going to see in the day in the life stuff. The audience is seeing the day in the life stuff. Like, a lot of the stuff I'm doing on the fly, like, and you know, you like, wait, 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 wait bro. Like, Damn. like, <laughs> like hold like, up. Yeah, slow yeah. down, bro. Like, because I'm just doing stuff and, yeah. you know, that's literally, like, like, I wish I had cameras on me all day. And exactly. that can just follow me and just, like, like, like a real day in the life because, like, yeah. Like I'm, I'm literally navigating the streets, and I'm literally like going through yeah. different things, and like I'm, like I remember one time I was with my daughter downtown, and like I'm pushing downtown, and literally like, bro, I get to the corner, bro, and it's no cutoff, mm. it's no cutout on the ground, like, yeah. So then I'm like, damn, like how am I about to do this, like, and the lights are kind of fast, so you get what I'm saying? I got to time this right, so like I'm yeah. like, all right, bet. I'm not about to put my daughter in the street and just have my daughter just waiting in the street. And mm-hmm. you get what I'm saying? So I leave my daughter on the thing. I put my back wheels down off the curb mm-hmm. and I get down off into the curb. I got baby girl on the curb still. You feel me? Yeah. As soon as the light turn green, uh, the walk, the walk signal turn, you know, for me to be able to yeah. walk, I put baby girl down, whoop, whoop, <laughs> smart drive. And I took yeah. off, but I had to really like think through you know, like, you know, what it what it is that I'm going to do because, like, you know, the world isn't really made for a wheelchair user. Things are getting better, but you get what I'm saying? It's not really made for a wheelchair user, especially, like, an independent, everyday wheelchair user. You get what, mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Where you're really outside by yourself, like, yeah. where they don't think, like, oh, um, all right, I get out the car downtown. Okay, cool. Y'all want me to put coins in the machine, but... How do I get up on the curb? Do you guys expect for me to really drive, like, roll to the corner, come yeah. back all the way back, and then put coins in? Like, yeah. like those are the things that the world isn't thinking about. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And it's up to us to bring it to their attention and really, like, really be members of society so that they see the need to mm-hmm. change, to change these things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And us being outside is what's going to do that. You know what I'm saying? So exactly. that's what the whole, you know, wheelchair game movement is about. It's like em- empowering wheelchair users to be productive members of society and, mm-hmm. you know, promoting, you know, positivity amongst wheelchair users and encouraging them to live yeah. a boundless life. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. that's what it's about. 
And I feel like that that's exactly what you do. And as far as like, you know, everything you show on your Instagram page, you know, like I feel like that that's that's what the people need to see. That's what the day in the life content of a paralyzed man is about. Or, you know, or a paralyzed person, like period. You know what I mean? Like, like everything that you're doing is what the people need to see. Like I'm like I'm hoping and I'm praying that, you know, as somebody that's newly injured in the bed looking at this content, be like, damn, like. Man, if Rich can do it, I can do it. No, nah, most You know, like, look. Y- uh, all right, so for the people out there watching, what is your level of injury? Uh, I'm an L2 incomplete. L2 incomplete. So so where is it at on your body? Like, is it up higher, lower? Like, where is um, it at? That's lower, lumbar, you know what I'm saying? And uh, okay. that's pretty much, like, uh, waist down. That's, like, the real, like, um, and it's kind of, it's funny. It's actually funny because I'm really, not, like, not paralyzed from the waist down. Like, I really have feeling... On my front side, all yeah. to my knees. You get what I'm okay. saying? And like, I really, honestly feel like that's why I be in a lot of pain. I be in a lot of nerve yeah. pain and stuff like that. It's because I do have that feeling. Like, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, like, can you move your legs at all? Like, can you stand up at all? Uh, yeah, I can stand using okay. a walker, and uh, I am able to move my legs. Uh, I can pretty much like do a walking gait in the pool. Like, so, you know, for, like, it's really just, you know, repetition and just yeah. getting stronger and just, like, really doing a lot of, um, you know, aquatic therapy and stuff like that. Okay. Like, you know, building it back up. Okay. And how long have you been in the wheelchair? I've been in the wheelchair since 2017. 2017? June 18, 2017 was the day. Okay. Now, every time that day comes around, how do you feel? It used to bother me, you know, like I remember the first day, I, the first year I got shot, like I was sitting in the shower, like crying. And I remember mm-hmm. getting a phone call and my best friend had got shot the same day. Oh, for real? Like a year later. Like he got shot June 18, 2018. I got shot June 18, 2017. And like it, it bothered me for a little bit. And, yeah. you know, I really feel like, you know, things like when you when you harp on the past and, you know, you're like, like. Like, all that walking stuff, like, I, I forgot about it. Like, it's not yeah. until I see, like, videos or something. I'm like, oh, damn, I used to walk. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's- I left that shit, that stuff in the past. Like, you know, yeah. like, just off the basis of, like, you know, this is my new life. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, um, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm a better me. You get what I'm saying? And, mm. like, when I look at myself, like, I feel like I'm brighter. I'm more vibrant. I'm more, like... Like I just like You're proud of the man that you became. Yeah, you know? and it's just like I, I'm I'm not even worried about that yeah. dude. Like you know exactly. what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. So. Now, now at nighttime, whenever you dream, do you have dreams that you're walking, or do you have dreams that you're in a wheelchair? Uh, I used to have dreams that I was walking. Like I, I used to be running. I used to be like waking up sweating. Like I used to really, really like r- been running. Like man, what's crazy is I never. In my life, had a dream that I was in a wheelchair. Yeah. It's always dreams that I'm walking in. It's like every time I wake up, it's like I'm paralyzed all over again. Yeah. But it's like in my dream, it's like I know I'm paralyzed. Like It's like I know. And I'm trying to tell everybody, yo, look, no, like for real, for real, I'm paralyzed. I'm paralyzed. But I'm walking. Yeah. And it's like everybody looking at you like, no, I'm like you're not. Yeah. But it's like I'm trying to tell like, no, I'm paralyzed. Yeah. And it's like, I, get, I don't know. It's like. Is I, I feel like it happened so much like that I kind of got over it, but like at the beginning it was like it was like very stressful because like like I said every time I w- I woke up it was like I got paralyzed all over again, right? You know yeah. what I mean? So it bothered me for a little bit, but man, like j- just like at the beginning, like that day it was like I would kind of like be out of it. It was like. I would, I would know that that day was coming up, you know, because I got paralyzed on you know uh, September twenty seventh, two thousand twelve. So it's like every time that, it was like every time that day would come around, it's like I would kind of like lose focus, and then to the point where I just I, I like the day came and I forgot about the day until like two days later I realized oh sweat I don't totally forgot about it. So it was like kind of like I, it was kind of like I blacked out for those days. Yeah, you know what I mean. But now it's like like I like I done fully embraced it and it, it's really like another life day. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's a like that, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like and that's kind of like I guess like like. I, I kind of disliked it at first, and then it became, like, a birthday. And then, like, now, like, I'm so, like, busy, like, with, like, my businesses and my daughter and everything. Like, now I'm like, oh, dang. Like, 
Like June 18th mm-hmm. was two weeks ago. I'm yeah, like, exactly. <laughs> like, I'm like, yeah. dang. Like, it, like I, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I, I just realized that like it was year seven for me. Like, and I was like, like yeah. I was like, like, and like I have been telling like I've been in the chair like five years. Like, yeah. But it's really been like seven. Like, you yeah. get what I'm saying? For, and it's you just like, sometimes. yeah, like you like, dang, it's been seven years. Like. Mm-hmm. Like, like I remember the first time I like I said it. Like, yo, it's been ten years, and that's what I'm saying. Like, it's about to be like I'm at seven right now, and like tomorrow it's gonna be ten. Like, like yeah, like, but like I've been in which are twelve years though. Yeah, you know what I mean. But I remember when I said ten, and I was that's like, gonna oh, be twenty for you. Like, fat, like exactly, uh, yeah. exactly, and like it just to be honest, it, to be you know what I would say. Like the crazy thing that's kind of scary a little bit. Is like it gets further and further away from the last day that I walked. Yeah, and I feel like I'm forgetting that person. Yeah, you know what I mean. It, it's kind of like I want to hold on to him a little bit. Yeah, but it's like as I get further and further out, it's like I'm forgetting him. Yeah, you know what I mean. And it's like that's kind of hard still. No, most definitely. You know? Like, ugh, ugh. that's kind of hard. Yeah, it wasn't like I said. It wasn't hard yeah. on my end just because like I'm I'm just. Like, if God came and asked me tomorrow, like, yo, Rich, like, you know, I got some legs for you, bro. Like, you, you can walk tomorrow. Like, I got you. Like, but I'm going to need that mindset back, like, that perspective. Like, yeah. like you know, like, yeah, you got to go back to, like, not believing in yourself and just, like, just, like, when things get hard, you probably going to quit. Like, you get what I'm saying? I'm like, mm-hmm. Now, quit not even. I'm option. like, like you know, I just feel like you know, I, I, I'm, I'm a, I'm able to be a better father. Like, just I'm just a better person. Like, I wouldn't even imagine what type of father I've been if I, if I was walking. I was like crazy. Yeah, <laughs> like, I feel you. Like yeah. people always tell me, like they like Rich, you crazy. Like <laughs> you just be doing stuff. Like, like no, I feel you. You just be talking to people and just like you just like. Like, you don't have no problem sticking up for yourself. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm like, like you should have saw me before, boy. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's why God <laughs> sat me down because he like, yeah, somebody going to take you out. Like, mm-hmm. I got to sit you down. I need you. Yeah. And you know what? Like, I feel like you kind of become a little bit more of a people person because there's so many people that want to come up to you. They want to talk to you. They want to pray for you. You know, like, they just want to pick nah, your fact, brain sometimes. Like, and that's the one, like, to pray for you, like, like, I be on, like, Crenshaw and 36, and, yeah. like, lady, like, old lady, like, excuse me, baby, can I pray for you? And I'm, like, yeah, auntie, like, let's do it, like, yeah. and I'm literally on Crenshaw, like, yeah. 36, and my head closed, eyes bowed, and I'm, like, boy, somebody can just roll up on me right now, like, mm-hmm. it is, like, you know, yeah. but I try not to even think like that, like, yeah. I just try to think, like, you know, God's grace got me, like, you know what I'm saying, that's why I'm able to do the things that I'm able to do is because of God's grace. It's all evidence, you get what I'm saying, like, of God's grace, you get what I'm saying? So, I'm not really worried about what anybody can do to me out here, you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know, I always try to protect myself and take the precautions, but at the end of the day, like, I'm really not worried. Like, I'm not worried about going to places that I'm not supposed to be, or, you get what I'm saying? Like, I'm supposed yeah. to be where I'm supposed to be. Like, I'm supposed to be where I'm at, like, you get what I'm saying? And, and honestly, what's going like, to happen is going to happen. Yeah, and God got me here yeah. for a reason, you exactly. get what I'm saying? Like, so. Mm-hmm. All right, now, now, leading up to the day that you got shot, do you feel like it was anything off about that day? Like, what was going on, like, during that day? It was regular. Like, I just woke up, like, you know. It was regular, like, I remember, like, it was Father's Day, like, I remember calling my dad, wishing him mm-hmm. Father's Day, like, I remember mm-hmm. I had, like, some great Nike sweats on, no socks on, with the little <laughs> Air Maxes, the camouflage Air Maxes, yeah. like, you feel me? I think I had like a white shirt on or something with like okay. a pocket on it or something. Like, I, I so you were chilling and you was in your element. Then. Yeah, I was just chilling. Yeah. Like, you where know. was you living at the time? In Jacksonville, Florida. Okay, so so where are you originally from? Uh, Inglewood, California. Okay, so so what was you doing out there in Jacksonville, in Jacksonville, Florida? Um, I had just moved out there. I just graduated from Tuskegee University, and uh, I just moved out there. Uh, was working and stuff like that, just trying to find my way. And mm-hmm. you know, uh, okay. I was you know DJing uh, back and forth between Atlanta and just doing just different stuff. Yeah. I was hustling. Mm-hmm. 
So like, what do you feel like your goals was at that time? Like, like did you have anything that you wanted to do as far as like, like this is what I want to do as a career? Like, or is there something that you was like focused on? Like I more wanted, than DJing? Or I wanted to be an entrepreneur and a businessman. Okay. Like, and I was using like DJing and different elements to like, yeah. you know, to fund different things that I wanted to do. And just like, mm-hmm. you know, I was just figuring it out. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like I was young and like ambitious, like. Okay. All right, that's good. Now, you said that that day was going kind of regular for you. Like, you was pretty much in your element, so nothing was going wrong. So, what led up to you actually getting shot, like, being in that position? Like, what led up to that? Um, I was actually um, I was actually uh, out, uh, and um, I was meeting some dudes, and um, one of the dudes uh, tried to actually, like, uh, rob me from my bag, and... Uh, like I had like some weed in there or something. And okay. Like uh, he was. Now was you out? Was you out and about? Or was you driving? A, like like where was you at? Yeah, I was out and about. He was out and about. I'm saying and uh, one of the dudes tried to like like rob me from my bag and uh, he tried to go in the car and take the bag and like we started like tussling for the bag and like uh, like I remember like uh, just tussling with him in the car and uh, oh, oh so you in the car. Yeah. Oh, so but he so like, was you no. parked to somebody like that? Would you park or yeah. like was you in like, yeah, a, like was, an area? I where... was parked. Like oh. I like had some apartments. Like and oh. um and uh he like came in through like the passenger side. Like, was the door open? Yeah. Damn. And uh he grabbed a bag and like we're literally like he's in the door and I'm like in the car and we like testing it like and I yeah. like I grabbed so him like into I the grabbed car. The bag. You know, I grabbed him into the car. Oh, all right, you get what I'm saying? Because I'm got yeah. like I'm like we fighting like you yeah. get what I'm saying? So like, I grabbed him into the car like I'm about to beat the brakes off this dude or something. Yeah. I'm about to try to figure out something like. Yeah. And um, I remember like in the like I remember him saying like give it up, give it up, or you gonna get popped or like you gonna get shot or something like some lingo like you know what I'm saying yeah. like that. And he like you know I'm like. I'm like, what? Like, I'm like, you not about to shoot me, man. You feel me? So yeah. I start looking around, like, you feel me? Like, and I seen the dude like running up on the back of the car. And and I don't even know how I saw the pistol, but I saw the like he had his pistol out, and I'm like, ooh, you gotta go. And I remember like throwing him out the car and throwing the car and drive because the car was on. Whoa. So I remember th- like throwing the car and drive, like, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I was getting ready to leave, like, throw the car and drive, and like I remember like trying to like you know, I threw him out the car and tried to like whip the car right, and um, I ended up like uh, driving down like uh, I made a left and was driving down like a not a one way but the the dead end. But I was in the dead end, so I'm driving out the dead end, and then it's like a, a wall in front of me, and then it's a left. So it's like you know, it's a dead end and a dead end. So okay, so when y'all tussing for the bag and the dude comes around the car, does he shoot you at that time or nah? Like, I threw the dude out the car. I'm gone. Like, I'm driving. Like, okay. And I remember, like, hearing boom. I'm like, ooh. And I remember ducking. Like, I'm like, like, I remember trying to stay down. And, like, that was the only shot that I heard. I remember hearing just one shot. And then, like, I remember, like, uh, like, I didn't hear another shot, but I remember, like, just, like, it was just, like, the Forrest Gump movie when he was, like, something jumped up and bit me in the butt. Like, yeah. something jumped up and bit me in the back. I'm like, ooh. I'm like, my ears start ringing. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, bro just shot me. Like, I just got shot. Like, like I knew immediately, like, and it was crazy just, like, how about, like, my, 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 my sense, my survival senses just kicked in. Like, mm-hmm. I remember, like, like, telling myself, I'm like, yeah, bro just shot you. Like, I'm like, but I'm driving. Like, so I'm like, yeah, just keep driving. Just go. Like, just go. You good. Like, and then I'm driving, like. And I get to the end, like, at a block, and I'm, like, telling myself, like, all right, bet, like, you need to slow down, hit this corner, like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm, like, yeah. listening to the car, I'm, like, processing everything, and in the car, like, it's revving, it's, like, Whoo! I'm, like, damn, I'm like, why the car not slowing down? Like, I'm, like, damn, my legs are stuck on the gas. Like, my legs were stuck, pressed on the gas, because when he shot me, my legs locked up. And when they mm-hmm. locked up, they pressed on the gas. And I'm like, ooh, like, you know, so I didn't think to move it. I threw the car in neutral. So now the car is just oh, revving, yeah. you feel me? And then um, I remember just 
trying to bank that left turn. Now I'm at the left turn. I'm like, I'm, but I'm probably going 60, 50. Right? So I like whipped the turn. I remember smacking into another car. Boom. I throw the car back and drive. My leg stuck. So it take off. Dang, how many and cars just, you hit? Just one. Okay. And then I remember just like, I'm like, just driving. I'm like, bro, the car jacked up, wheel hanging off. Like, I'm like, down the street. And I'm like, just drive, just drive. Like, I'm just making sure ain't nobody behind me. And I'll just keep driving about five blocks. And eventually, like, uh, you know, I'm like, all right, you got to pull over. Like, I, I thought to myself, like, go home. And I'm like, bro, you can't get on the freeway and all of that. I'm like, bro, just pull over. So I pulled over and, you know, I start checking myself. And, that's you know, I called my cousin. And, you know, I told him, like, yo, you know, I got shot. These dudes are trying to rob me, whatever, whatever. And then, you know, uh, one of my um, homegirls, Cedrea, she ended up coming to pick me up. Like, and, uh, like, I remember telling her, I'm like, yo, like, I need you to come get me. Like, she's like, all right, babe, what's up? Are you good? Like, I'm like, mm-hmm. Nah, like, I'm like, uh, I'm shot. Like, she like, what? Like, call the ambulance. I'm like, nah, like, I just, like, just come get me. Like, yeah. she like, all right, bet, just send me your location. Like, you know, she came and got me and stuff. How and long did it take her to get there? It took her, like, 40 minutes. I remember oh. she was lost, like. So you, so you sitting in the car shot I'm for 40 minutes. I'm sitting in the phone, I'm calling people. Like, but why ain't you calling 911? Like, like I just that ain't my instinct. Like I didn't grow up thinking that like nine one one help you. Like I ain't gonna lie. Like I grew up seeing people get shot every day, and we ain't never call nine one one. We so, throw the homie in the car and we we take off. Th- like you in L A, you'll die waiting on 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 nine one one. Yeah. So you get shot and you wait forty minutes. Yeah. You wait 40 minutes for somebody to take you to the hospital. I remember my cousin telling me, like, he like, bro, call 911. I'm like, bro, I'm not calling 911, bro. If I was dying, bro, I'd call 911. But I'm not I'm not dying and I'm not calling 911. Okay, so at that time, can you feel your legs, though? No, nah, I knew I was paralyzed. Like, I remember he was like, bro, drive to the hospital. I said, bro, I can't move my legs, bro. And I remember he was like, damn. Like, I don't even know if he knew I was paralyzed already. Like, I thought, like, in my mind, like, I'm like... I got shot somewhere, like, yeah. I'm shot in the back, but, like, like I'm good, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Everything feel normal, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, I know I can't move my legs, but, you know, when you get shot in your arm, the arm go limp, like, you know? So, yeah. I'm thinking, like, it's one of them type of things. Like, I just can't use it right now, bro. Like, I'm literally telling them, like, I'm like, I'm not calling 911 and don't call my mama. Mm. <laughs> He's like, bro, don't call your mom. Don't call my mama, bro. I tell my mom when I heal up. Like, and I, I woke up the next morning in the hospital. My mama was right there. Like, I'm like, oh man, he told my mama. <laughs> so whenever you drive off and the guy shoots the gun, where does the bullet I, I, go in the car? It like, was so many bullets in the car, oh, and, and my mom up. and my mom was like, bro, they was trying to kill you. Like, when she said she saw the car, she broke down. She was like, they were trying to kill you. But all She's you like, what you do to them? Shot. Like, all I heard was one shot, for sure. All you and then was- I think I got hit probably by the second shot. And then, like... How many times did you get shot? Once. Once. And where did it go in that? In, in my back. In the yeah. back? And it, like, got lodged in my spine. I mean, in my stomach. And they took it out of my front. Yeah. Damn. So when a bullet went in, where did, like, what vertebrae does it hit? The L2, well, the L2. it shattered my whole spinal canal or something like that. Like, right. Yeah, because I remember the lady came in, she had like a Russian accent. She's like, yeah, your spinal canal was, it was shattered by a bullet and we went in and we crushed it. And like, she had a yeah. little thick Russian accent. Like, Damn. So when you wake up, when you finally wake up, your mom's there. Yeah. How was that feeling? I honestly felt like I like kind of like let her down. You feel me? Like. Don't nobody want to see their son or their kid in, in that type of predicament. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. I really, like, was, like, I was, I, I like, literally, when she first walked in, I literally was like, Mom, I'm sorry. She was like, what, like, you, what you sorry for? I'm like, yeah. like, I let these dudes shoot me. Like, now we got to deal with this. I'm like, I'm sorry. Like, she like, Richard, don't be sorry. Like, it's good. Like, we about to get you up out of here. Don't even, like, don't even worry about it. Like, mm-hmm. and like, but that's my initial feeling. Like, I just felt sorry. Like, I felt sorry that my mom had to get on the plane and, like, 
not know what was going on with her son and have to catch an eight-hour flight to Jacksonville, Florida with a layover and, you know what I'm saying, two flights mm-hmm. and, like, the whole time. Like, like literally, like, that she says that in my documentary where she's like, you know, like, they told me that he was fine. And then when I got there, they're like, oh, yeah, he just woke up out of surgery. And she's like, surgery? Like, like y'all say he was fine. Like, you know, so, like. Uh, you know, I, I'm I'm sure that was scary for her, you know what I'm saying? Like me especially having a daughter now, like my daughter fall off the bed and I'll be like ready to like boy. Mm-hmm. Like, I you know, you don't wanna see your child hurt, you know what I'm saying? So it was a it was a long um it was a long journey just, you know, between me and my mom, you know what I'm saying? Like I almost like I had to watch her go through her own injuries and like she ended up having like a stroke and um two brain surgeries, you get what I'm saying? And like, you know, like but I kinda feel like that changed her perspective as well. You get what yeah. I'm saying? Like it kinda put her on the same perspective as me. It's like, you know, life is short, you get what I'm yeah, saying? Like, we it gotta is. cherish it. Like, you know, is, yeah. she was like, you know, kinda like harping on, you know, her son taking out the trash and you know how I used to be, you know, how I used to contribute and like, you know, always always been like, you know, the man of the house and you know, like I like you know, I like, you know, I, I contribute contributed yeah. financially, you know, physically, like, you know what I'm saying? Like and you know, my mom always loved that about me, you get what I'm saying? And yeah. like not to have that no more, like, you get what I'm saying? Like she you know, she took that kind of heavy. Okay. Now I know you said that you know that you was kind of, you know, kind of sort of paralyzed, you know. But when is it that the doctor or anybody comes in there and tells you that you're actually paralyzed? Like, who tells you and what is that moment like? Uh, I remember the doctor told me, like, he really didn't tell me, like, like he told me that I was that I suffered a spinal cord injury. And he okay. told me that, you know, it was going to be a long recovery. Um and, you know, he's like, you know, it's really up to you. Like, you're young, you know, it's up to, you know, your life is up to, you know, to you and how you want to live it. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know, and um, uh, he's like, you know, I, I can, you know, I'm going to put you in the best therapy. And I was literally, like, right next door to, like, one of the top re- spinal cord research facilities, like, in, in the nation. Like, Brooks Rehab Facility Rehabilitation and, like. Like, I was just blessed to, like, be able to just, like, go. Like, I literally, like, got rolled over there in my bed. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And as you know, I was in one of the top research facilities. And, like, like I ended up meeting my um, business partner there um, that I started, you know, wheelchair gang with, um, Francois. And, like, you know, he was the one who, like, kind of, like, kick-started, like, the whole, like, walking rich Mm-hmm. Um, you know, not the walking rich thing because it was no such thing as walking rich at that time, but like who I am and how I move, like yeah. you get what I'm saying? Like when people say walking rich, like what's the deal, yeah. bro? Like, oh yeah, that's bro, bro just be doing everything. Like, like yeah. he like I remember like like going out to a uh it was a fair in Jacksonville and like you know, this like my first time going outside and I'm yeah. really like nervous, like cause I'm like mm-hmm. What if you see these dudes, like, you feel me, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I'm like, well, you got to go outside. Like, so I went outside, boom, and I'm just pushing around. And, like, that's where we got the wheelchair gang thing from. Like, it was so many people there. We like, excuse me, excuse me, wheelchair gang coming through. Excuse me, wheelchair gang coming through. Like, and I'm so newly injured. Like, you know the things that they have at the fairs that cover the wires that you got to, like, willy over? Yep. Mm -hmm. Like, bro, I couldn't even willy over them. Oh, oh. Like I'm that new in my wheelchair, bro. I'm not even in. I'm in. Imagine me being in your wheelchair, bro. Like I'm in like a 17 inch wheelchair, bro. And so you all oh. like I'm like literally rolling like this. Like I'm like yeah. like rolling like like it was crazy, bro. Like mm. and I couldn't like you can't willy like that. Like yeah, I'm like bro, I'm can. trying to like. And then I remember him getting behind me and he would like mm. push me up over the thing. Like every last one of them, <laughs> he would push me over it. Like you know what I'm saying? And, yeah. Like, I remember telling Chef Nim, like, I'm like, hey, bro, like, I had so much fun, and we did this and that, and we was like, wheelchair game coming through. He was like, hey, bro, like, that's, like, you need to, that's your little thing, like, wheelchair game, like, that's hard, like, you need to run with that, like, and, yeah. you know, that's when we started the whole wheelchair game thing, and then that translated into the walking rich thing, and, you know, it all goes hand in hand, because, it's, you know, 
about living balanced. Like, you get what I'm saying? It's like walking rich with perseverance. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. persevering through whatever it is that you're going through. You get what I'm saying? Whatever injury it is that you have. You get what I'm saying? Whatever level of injury that you are. Like, just making the best of your situation. We got people that can't use their arms. You know, you got people that can't use yeah. their fingers and, you know, just different injuries and different, you know, when people see wheelchair, they see wheelchair and it's, it's not like that. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Me and you, we're different in a lot of ways. You get yeah. what I'm saying? And, you know, I'm different from a quadriplegic in a whole lot of ways. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And like, it's just about, you know, building awareness and, you know, just being yeah. transparent on these platforms and really utilizing them to build awareness. Like, and that's like what I try to use my platform about is like, you know, trying to tell people how we use the bathroom, how we get out the car, how do I have fun, how do I go to the club, how do I, you know what I'm saying, like, yeah. you know, because it's always a question, like, you know, they think that because you get put in a wheelchair, you know, your life is supposed to stop, and, you know, you're supposed to sit around, and you're supposed to feel sorry for yourself, and that's not the case, you get what I'm saying, it's all about uh, that perspective that we talked about, you get what yeah. I'm saying, so. Okay, so, how long is it that you're in therapy before you actually leave the hospital? I was in therapy probably like, dang, I think I was in the hospital for two weeks and then I was, what? Like, I was in, uh, I was in the hospital for like two weeks and then I was in therapy for like four weeks. Okay. So, so was you like in inpatient therapy or was you like outpatient? Inpatient. A okay. Yeah. Now, I was probably like, in, like, I was probably like in a hospital for like a month. Okay. Like, and I was begging to go home. Maybe six weeks at the month. I think I had a six week program or something. Mm, and, and look, I'm a you see, this is what a lot of people don't understand. It's like you're begging to go home. You want to go home so bad. That like 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 that's what anybody will want. But you're not real you're not realizing that when you get home, your home is not set up for your life in a wheelchair. Well, I ain't gonna lie, like I was like pretty like like I was pretty fortunate. Like I like I was oh, like on the so you was one. Oh, like, okay. I was like at that moment. Like like I was like in Jacksonville. Like and we stayed in like a condo. So it was okay. like it was like the elevator went right up to our door. It was no door to the crib. The the elevator was the door. You know what I'm oh, saying? Like oh okay. Like and it was like a three bedroom like. So it was like an open floor plan? Bro, it was a home, bro, on, on the 25th floor in Jacksonville. Like, I'm talking about three bedrooms, like, 2,000 square feet. Like, it was big. Laundry room, like. Yeah. Like, we had, like, one of those little shoot basketball hoops in the corner. We had yeah. two big bean bags. Like, it was like a bachelor's pad. Like, yeah. You know okay. I mean? Like. Uh all right, so that's where you go home to? Yeah. So when you go like home. Like the most unaccessible part was the shower, bro. Literally. And it was because it was, a glass, it was a glass shower. Yeah. That's no, a, this was super unaccessible, bro. <laughs> like, I'm talking about like you got to like transfer in and around the oh, glass trust me, shower. Like, that, that's exactly how like, my shower was. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, like I had to like go forward and then yeah, go back. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you go, had to like go forward, go over. Arm in, yeah. Like, come around here. And like, it was crazy, bro. Yeah. Like, that was like, and I didn't like showering, bro. Like, I shower like once a week, bro. Like, oh. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I hated showers. And I used to, my mom used to be like, bro, you getting your butt in the shower, bro. Like, I'm like, bro. Do you feel like you hated it because it was just so hard to shower? It was just so hard to shower. I was in so much pain. Like, it was just like, bro, like. Damn. You know, and I just feel like, you know, I'm still in a lot of pain, but I just feel like, you know. If you just fight and fight and fight, you just build up a tolerance. So, you know, if you can go outside for 15 minutes, you know, for a week, then next yeah. week let's go outside for 20 and 30. And yeah. Let's do an hour. And then, you know, just keep, you know, building it up. And then you like, damn, I'm outside a whole day. Like, I need to go in the house. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know what's so crazy is I would have never, like, what me and you did today, what we're doing right now, I never would have saw that yeah. back then. I never yeah. would have saw that that first that first year or two in the wheelchair. No, like, for sure. I never like me like me being out here by myself, driving yeah. out here by myself. Like like I drove from Bakersfield all the way to LA today, two hours. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's just I would have never saw that. No, like, like it, it, yo, it's it, it. What's so crazy is like 
how far I've came. You yeah. know what I mean? And I'm pretty sure it's the same exact way for you. You no, know, no, like how far you came from, you know, like that first year you being paralyzed. Like, you know how tough that first year is physically, mentally, emotionally. You know, no, getting used sure. to it. Going, you know, trying to get back out there, trying to go outside. You know, like people don't understand how hard it is to finally, you know, accept the wheelchair and really just go outside and want to be around people because you're just so... So in your head that you no know, everybody's looking at me, everybody's just focused on my wheelchair, and like that does something to you mentally. I mean, like, people still do that, exactly. but like now it's like, yo, you what's really the deal? Me. Like, yeah. you like, what's up, y'all? Yeah. Like, hey, how y'all doing? Like, it's like it's a show now. Like, yeah, you know exactly. Like, it's like you like kind of like putting on the show. Like, exactly. Like, you know I'm what? like, yo, we're like, hey, hey, yo, what up, mm-hmm. what up, yo, 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 like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm it's like, fun, you know, like, I'm like, like fun, really like, no, nah, facts. You know what exactly. Mean? Like, you know what? That's why I, you know, I'm like, I put this shit on because you know, like, I don't even just like when you see me rolling, bro. You don't see me rolling like. Mm-hmm. Like you see me like I'm skating, skating. They boy. like, hey, watch out. I'm like, hey, my bad, bro. Like you feel me? They like, nah, you good, bro. All right, bro. Have a blessed day. Like you feel me? Yeah. Like I'm like, I got energy. Like I'm, I'm trust me, I be like, seeing that people feel my presence when I'm out there. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, I see that. I see that. Trust right. me. Like 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 I can feel it. No, nah, you know sure. what I mean? Especially with me and you out. Out and about whenever we was on the golf course, you know, yeah. look, look, if Even y'all like haven't when seen you roll that, into like the district and like you rolling in, like people like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, they not used to that. Yeah. B- because I feel like when people think about, you know, people that are in wheelchairs that, you know, when they don't know nobody in a wheelchair, I feel like that they just automatically got this perception, this, you know, uh, old person, somebody who needs help, somebody. No, who, fast that part. I mean? Somebody like, that needs help. Needs you know to be mean? pushed. Like, no, nah, I'm the helper. Exactly. Like, what you like, talking about? Like, the, they don't think about two swag. Like, they like, hey, uh, who's picking you up? Like, baby, I'm the driver. Like, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. Like, they're not thinking about, oh, like, these two swagged up dudes that, you know, like, they done pulled up here by themselves. No, in fact, you know, in two they, different they, cars. Two different, yeah, <laughs> exactly. In two different nice cars. Like, no, you know sure. what I mean? And, you know, like, but that's why I want to show it because somebody out there needs to see it. No, for sure. You know what I mean? Like, somebody out there really needs to see how you live and how you moving. You know what I mean? Because believe it or not, you really are an inspiration. You know, like, and like I said, all, if we can get this message across to one person, we done did our job. No, most definitely. All right? One yeah, person at yeah. a time, you feel me? Exactly. So, okay, so now, I mean, we're filming this podcast in L.A. So when is it that you leave Florida and come back to L.A.? Well, I, I I initially went back to, like, Gilroy, California, like, oh, Northern did? California. Okay. Oh, oh, so when you come back to the penthouse, is the penthouse in Florida or is it penthouse it in California? It was in Florida. Oh, so. Then then my parents was, like, living on, like, the third floor and, like, like, Ooh. like some, like, like some, like, condo type apartment. So yeah. then they ended up, like, moving down to, like, the ground floor, like, switching whole apartments. They went from, uh. I think they still had a two bedroom at the time, but they had okay. to switch apartments. Like, okay. So, how long are you staying in Jacksonville? Like six months. Oh, okay. So six months. Okay. Yeah, I I came back January of two thousand eighteen. Mm. Okay. So what? So what initially made you come back? Well, I just like my pops was coming back and forth. Like it was just taking a toll on my family. Like I'm like, yeah. you know, at that point, I'm like, you know, yeah, like. The independent thing, like yeah. you know, like I'm pretty sure my you mom was cooking. My mom was cooking for me every day, like yeah. you know what I'm saying, making sure, like you know what I'm saying, like, yeah. and that's what I tell people is like, like all of that help stuff, like you're you as you're 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 only going to be as as independent as you allow, you know, yourself to be. Like if you allow people just to help you, help you, help you, like that's going to be, you know, your reality. You get what I'm saying, yeah. like. Like, I'm more so the type of person, like, you know, I'm like, yo, take me to the store. And they're like, yeah, give me 30 minutes. I'm like, bro, I don't feel like waiting 30 minutes. They're like, yeah, give me 40 minutes. I'm like, bro, bro, get, where the keys at? Like, I'm I'm like, you know, and that's kind of like. You said you were going to be 30 minutes ago, man. Like, Why you lying? To me? Like, no, facts. Like, yeah. I'm like that. And I'm, yeah. I'm driving, boy. Like, I'm, I, and that's like kind of how it was, like, you know. You know what that's... Like, it took me 30 minutes mad trying to put my wheelchair in the car yeah. for the first time. Like, because I didn't... It wasn't no planning. Like, I wasn't really taught. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like... And uh, I feel like, I feel like that that's kind of what helps you get a lot of your independence back is you get tired of waiting on people. You get tired of being on some... Like, I had license time. already. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, like, like, I just got in the car. Like, they looking like... Like, you know, like, when you get... 
injured like at like 14 you got to yeah. get your license in a wheelchair you have to go through like a certain driver's ed like I you know what to, i'm saying like i had to do that because yeah. when i was in afghanistan my license expired yeah so when i came back and everything happened now i'm in a wheelchair and they say you can't renew your license no more so now i have to go through the the way of getting it as somebody that's in a wheelchair, yeah. and I had to go through all the classes. I had to get certified on the hand controls. It was a, it took me like two years, yeah, two years because at the time it was like nobody doing it, nobody knew how to do it, nobody knew where to go to. Like who they to roll, I'm rolling up to the DME. They like, yeah, do you drive any different? Nope, I drive with my feet. <laughs> man, it is man. Uh, it I was, just like it was a thing for me. Like yeah. it was, but but I needed that though. I needed to go through that process. Yeah. I needed to. You know, like I needed to feel that. Like I needed people to kind of give me the run around just so I can kind of, you know, see what was out there, see, you know, see how people was moving. But at the same time, it was on me being persistent, me looking up at everything, me going to them, telling them, no, I know this is like, like this is what I need to do. No, I'm okay. And, you know, like, and it, it's like I'm kind of telling them how to do their job. No, and he's like, you know sure. what? Let's go ahead and do a pressure relief while we no, do that. No, you boy, know, you got to do that. You know what I mean? Let's know. go ahead and do that, my boy. You know what I mean? But yeah, I you know I needed that. I needed that, and I feel like that that helped me. Like going through that, that actually helped me out a lot because now it's like I can't take no for an answer. Like no, I need that. But then that also gave me back a lot of independence because without having that run around doing that, getting my license, I wouldn't be out here with you. Yeah, no, you know? most definitely. Yeah, yeah. And uh, like that was like kind of like the part that my 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 business partner played, like just like from the fair, like to yeah. like driving his jeep, like having a girl, like I'm like you know, like I'm like oh yeah, bro, doing it, like you know, yeah. and like he was just like re- in reality he wasn't doing anything. You get what I'm saying? He was yeah. just living life. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But like to me, like I'm like like I'm like yeah, if bro can do that. Like I'm like bro, you gonna be all right? Like you know. Like, and that's just anybody, like, like if you're going through this and you're newly injured and, you know, you really don't really know how you're going to figure it out, like, bro, you just got to get outside and just put one foot in front of the other and just, you know, push, 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 mm-hmm. push, 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 push. It ain't going to be easy, but, you know, like, you got to for, forget about your old life and you got to lead this new life, you get what yeah. I'm saying? And, like, uh, I always tell people it's like being born again, it's like... You have to learn how to shower again. You got to learn how to use the bathroom over. You got to learn how to grow. It's like everything. You got to learn how to cook and move up. Like everything. Everything Everything is is over, bro. Your body starts hurting Uh, in different areas than what it was hurting before. So everything is different, you know. And a lot of the times you can do almost the same stuff that you was doing before, but you just kind of have to do them a little bit differently. No, most definitely. You know what I mean? So, yeah. All right. So, so. While you living in Jacksonville, how accessible is Jacksonville at that time as far as for everything that you need? Like, like for your needs, how how accessible do you feel like it was? Uh, it wasn't that accessible, honestly. But like I said, I was blessed. Like, I had my moms out there. I really yeah. didn't really have to get out there and fend for myself yeah. unless I chose to. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so, I feel you. Like, but I, I, like, like I said, I'm that type of person. Like, I often did choose to, like, get out there and, like, yeah. Push to my cousin house and like, you know, I started driving myself to therapy and just like trying mm. to do different things and like, you know. Okay. That's good. So, so when you come back to California, what's new? Like, what's different for you now? Um. Well, I moved to Gilroy. It was a lot different from like LA and what I know. Like, it was oh. like, like super country, ah. like garlic. <laughs> Garlic capital, <laughs> like they growing garlic out there. Like, yeah, you know. So I'm just, you know, trying to make the best of it. Like, but it's really taking a toll on me, my family, and just, yeah, you know, I'm not happy. Like I remember just, you know, just walking into the house and it just being dark and just, you know, my mom was going to work. I would be there alone, just like playing the game and just like, you know, I only played the game because like I I wanted to be like connected with my boys and uh you know that were in LA and stuff like that so like yeah I don't even play the game like and um yeah so I ended up like you know finally like getting a car and like just you know started like trying to go to like Oakland and San Francisco San Jose and just trying to just adventure out yeah and, like, and, like just like, see what's out there just, like, go to the just mall, see what's being like yeah. you feel me like just yeah. try a little something like you feel me and yeah. then 
Like, one day I remember, like, all right, bet. Like, you know, after a few, like, Sacramento trips, like, after, I mean, uh, uh, San Francisco trips, I didn't roll the bar. I'm really out there pulling my yeah. luggage. Like, I'm really like, all right, bet. Like, mm -hmm. And I remember, like, telling my mom, like, I'm about to go to L.A. Like, she like... Sure, like, I'm like, I'm, yeah, I'm about to go to L.A. She's like, where are you going to stay? I'm like, I'm about to stay, you know, at Mr. Connors. Like, she like, all right, like, you know, come when you get there. Like, and I left, like, you feel me? And mm -hmm. I stayed for, like, you know, a week or so, and I came back, and I was going back and forth. And yeah, at this point, like, six more months went by, and we, like, in, like, June, July. And I remember I had the viewing party for um, my documentary, and I just – I remember I told my mom, I'm like, yo, mom, like, you know, I, like, you know, I appreciate y'all and all the arrangements y'all made for me, but, like, you know, like, it's taking a toll on me, and I'm not happy, like, you feel me? And I'm like, I, I'm, I'm about to, I'm not coming back. I'm, I'm, I'm staying here in L.A. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that was 2018, and, you know, uh, I've been here ever since. Like, mm -hmm. Now, now. In 2018, was there anybody that you was, like, watching on YouTube or was there anybody that you was watching on Instagram that you felt like that you could relate to or that you could look up to at all that kind of gave you inspiration that, you know, to let you know, like, damn, like, it's possible to live a comfortable life in a wheelchair? Uh, I'm trying to think, you know. Um, I Honestly, like, it's kind of weird, like, like, honestly, because, like, even now, like, on social media, like, I'm not, like, I be on social media, but I really don't be on social media. Like, it's, and it's, uh, it sounds cliche because everybody say it, you get what I'm yeah. saying? But, like, 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 yeah, like, I'm not very interactive. Like, uh, social media really gives me anxiety, especially, like, having, like, like, a following now. Like, yeah. I wish I can interact with everybody. I wish I can, you know... Hit, like, you know, and I, I'm trying to get better on that because I know, like, that's a part of the algorithm as well. You get yeah. what I'm saying? That's a part of the game. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. It's interacting. You get what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. but, like, you know, you know, a part of the life game is, like, like, yeah. like, like mental peace and, like, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, like, you know, sometimes you got to take a break, you know. Yeah. I know social media can get a little toxic, you know. Especially with, you know, us being in our position. You know, like sometimes you might have a video to go viral and, you know, not all the comments are positive. Oh, you know? boy. Yeah, so sometimes you. Especially yeah. with my daughter and my parents in. And like, yeah. they're like, oh, you should have put your daughter in the car first. It's like, bro, y'all don't even realize. So why? So I can whack her in, uh, in, the, in the head with the chair? Yeah. Like, as I'm putting the chair in the back with, with her, mm -hmm. like, no, I got to put the chair in first. Like. Mm -hmm. Now, how was it for you getting back out there on a dating scene, you know? Like, how was that for you mentally and, I would say, you know, like, physically at the same time? Because I feel like I would, con like, constantly be worried about, like, damn, like, am I good enough? Or, you know, like, just, like, little insecurities that weren't there before that now they start to kind of creep in. I mean, I had a couple of little, like, females that, like, came back, like, you know. Like, yeah, I spun the block. Bad, yeah, yeah, I went through, like, a bad breakup when I first, like, you know, got put in the wheelchair. And then a couple of little females spun the block or whatever. And then, uh, you know, like, I ended up, like, um, meeting my daughter's mom. And, you know, we really just started kicking it on some, like, some cool, like, friend stuff. And, yeah. like. Like, she just was over there a lot, and then one thing turned to another. We started, like, you know, getting more serious, and yeah. then, you know, time passes, and, you know, mm -hmm. now we kind of, like, you know, have a commitment with each other, you know what I'm saying? Because, yeah. you know, we ended up having a kid, you know, mm -hmm. so. Um, now, know, the day now, did you think that was possible? Um, For me, I mean, honestly, I honestly did think it was possible, and I only say that because I, like, I've, I've always, like, well, so my first six months, I couldn't have sex at all. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was a no-go. Like, but, like, I used to do this stuff called, like, sex therapy. Like, mm -hmm. I used to just try. Like, I'm like, yeah. like, I'm like, rub, rub it. Like, I'm like, yeah. ain't doing nothing. Man. I'm <laughs> just rub it. I'm just yeah. rub it. So, and, you know, I was just, like, just trying to, like, just live a full life, you get what I'm saying? Because that's a part of life, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Procreating, like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, you know, and, uh, 
like I, I I remember just doing that, and like eventually, like I built up a whole tolerance, and eventually it happened. And then one thing, it just kept going, and I, it just became easier. And then yeah. I was able to like ejaculate, and that's when I knew, like I'm like, oh, if you can ejaculate, you can have kids. Yeah. Like, and then I was like, like you know, like you gotta strap up now. Right, gotta yeah. strap up, my boy. Yeah. Got you know what I'm saying? And then yeah. you know, yeah. So you know, she hit me and she's like, "Yeah, I'm pregnant." I'm like, "Oh, yeah." So how? Look, would, I, so how was that process? She's like, she's like, you, you not, you don't seem excited. I was like, it wasn't was that. You I, was excited. I was shocked. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, uh, did you kind of feel like, like I can't have kids? Like, even though you could ejaculate, like, it, 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 like it's like the the type of question. Like, you like, is it mine? You're like, uh, no, but I, but I feel like that anybody would kind of feel like that. Oh, uh, fact, yeah, like, yeah, you know, especially so I, like. Uh, for us, like, yeah. we have, like, you know, like, we have been using, like, unprotected sex for a long time. So, like, and so she had forth, ne- like, and she I'm had talking about years. Pre- like, yeah. And she had never gotten pregnant. Yeah. And then, now, okay. I'm talking about years, reckless, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, okay. yeah. So, so when she comes to you, tells you that you're pregnant, and you process it. I'm not pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> when she comes to you and tell you that she's pregnant. And you finally process it. How is it for you, like, mentally, though? You know, now you're about to become a father, but you're in a wheelchair now. So, like, like, is there anything that you're thinking that's like, 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 damn, like, am I going to be a good dad? Like, and I knew I was going to yeah. be a good dad. Like, mm-hmm. that wasn't a question. Like, I was happy, honestly. Like, I don't think scared? that I'm always the best. And I was, I don't think I was scared. I was scared when, like, it was going, like, when, like, and that was more so because I understand, like, all the complications that can happen. Yeah. So I wasn't, like, scared to be a father, but I was just yeah. scared. Like, I'm just like, all right, bet the moment's here. Like, I just hope everything go well. Like, yeah. You know. And so what advice would you give to somebody who's in that same position? You know, like, like they want to have kids with their significant other. And, you know, maybe she might be pregnant and, you know, he, but he's in a wheelchair. What advice would you give to that person? Um... I would just, um, you know, it's it's just like it's the perspective. It's, yeah. it, it goes. The, it's the same advice, you know. It's the perspective. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? You, you can be as good of a partner as you want to be. You can be as um, good of as of a father as you want to be. You know what I'm saying? You can live as balanced as you want to be. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you know, my um, my advice to someone, you know, um, who's newly you know, getting ready to be a father or a mother that's in a wheelchair is like, you know, just be, just be boundless. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, just be open-minded. You get what I'm saying? And like, Mm -hmm. that's what gets me through. Like, I'm not the smartest dude. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, but that, like me being boundless is what gets me through life. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, I just find different innovative ways, like to just navigate life. Like if you start to see me move and just see me like, like, like I said that about the meters, and that's because I figured out a way to navigate that. You know what I'm saying? I literally pull myself up on the meter pole. Yeah. Like. That's crazy. And I wheelie up on the on the curve, and then I pull myself up on the meter pole just so I don't have to, you know what I'm saying? So I figured out a way to navigate, like, every aspect of my yeah. life. Like, and, and you know what? I feel like that us as wheelchair users, like, that's the thing for us. It's like, you know what? I got to find a way. If I'm going to do it, I have to find a way to do it. I got you know stuff I mean? all high up in my house and like you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying I, that I I access. You yeah, know and you know what I see like this speaker that's up on the wall. Y'all probably can't see it right now, but there's a speaker up on the wall, and my man like stood up and turned the speaker off, so we ain't had no music on this podcast. Yeah, no, so I know. appreciate that. You no, know what I mean? You know, so look, it, go to my Instagram so you guys can see it. Yeah. My boy standing up though, like that's like like, but that's why I told you like like, look, I had to get that, I had to film that. No, fashion, I want that's the people how to it see, is you know on the mean? day to day. Like exactly. I'm like, oh wait, we got to do that back. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? You like, wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I'm like, bro, we got we got we got stuff to do, bro. Like you said, we got to turn the speaker off, bro. Yeah. Like I'm turning like like I'm just so like solution based, like you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, you see, but for me, it, I, I didn't would, even I would, know I if I was gonna be able to. I don't even know if I was gonna be able to turn it off. But I'm just like, bro, like let me yeah. just get up here and see what I can do, bro. Yeah, like, not for you. like, yeah, not you know what? That was actually like really cool to see, though. You know yeah. what I mean? Like that was actually really cool to see because again, we gonna find a way. 
No, nah, well, yeah, I mean, like that's us, and like I see everything. I, that and you it's doing. crazy, like like I say, it's perspectives. Like, yeah, exactly. I think you was telling me, like, you like, hey, bro, you gotta grab a stick or something, like. <laughs> yeah, but that's what I'm about to say. Right. Like that, like right. that would that's be my your way. Thing. Like, yeah. you know what I, mean? I would have right. had to grab yeah. something because right. I can't, I can't stand up. Yeah. So me, I would, like, yeah, I got long arms, but that's kind of like high up. So I would have had to grab like a stick hey, or something like that. We was just in Palm Springs on a golf trip for my um for my cousin's bachelor's party. Like, bro, when I tell you, bro. Like it was a loft, bro. It was a, imagine a bed like up there, yeah. bro. Like imagine that being cut out and you mm-hmm. could go to a bed. Yeah. And it's a ladder down this wall right here. I yeah. literally climbed the ladder up, right? Then I got up there and I'm looking around. I'm like, I can go higher. So then I get up there and then you know I'm sitting on the bed, like you feel me? And then I came down and then like, my boy's like, bro, how you about to get down? I'm like, bro, watch out. Like, let me see. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm just navigating. You get what I'm saying? They like, bro, that's crazy. Like, 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 all the next morning, they're like, hey, bro, you know Rich went up there? they like, went up where? they like, to the loft bed. they like, no, he didn't. Like, they're like, oh, God, he went up there. Like, you know, like, yeah. and that was like, you know, like, I'm just, like, and I, like, for me, I literally was just sitting there. I'm like. I want to see if I can get up there. No you reason. Did. And you did. No purpose. Yeah. Like, well, the purpose was to see if I can get up there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. the he purpose was to see how balanced I can be. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Now, do you ever feel like that because you do, you know, so much like that, do you ever feel like that you push yourself in a position that you'd be like, damn, I shouldn't have did that? All the time. All the time. Can you tell us one time? One time where it's like, man, I, damn, I shouldn't have did that one. All the time. Like, my, my, the way my body feels, like, my rotator Ooh, cuffs and nah. just, like, my back. And, like, now I'm, like, now I'm learning that, like, people be, like, I be carrying groceries. They be, like, you need help? Absolutely. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Praise God. Like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, okay. Like, right before I be like, no, 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 bro, I'm good. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Because I got it in my lap already. I'm pushing. Like, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But now I'm, like, no, nah, let me slow down. Let me, yeah, I need help, bro. Yeah. Yeah, can you bring it upstairs for me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Now, I remember the first time I came across your content, you was golfing. Yep. Now, did that start before you was in a wheelchair, or did this, or was this something that came after you was in a wheelchair? Uh, this all started while I was in a wheelchair. What? So yeah. you had never golfed before then? Nah. Uh, so okay, damn. So you can't even tell us the before and after. So so you only really know about golfing from a seated position, pretty nah, much. Most definitely. But you don't golf from a seated position, do you? Nah, not at all. Nah. So so tell the people out there, how do you golf for the people that don't know? Yeah, I golf in the chair. It's called um, it's called a para golfer. Um, mm-hmm. it was um, it's distributed by Stand Up and Play. Um, a guy named Anthony Neto like designed it and um. Uh, it's 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 a gift, honestly, and it yeah. literally like takes me from like a seated position, like I am now, and it like literally stands me up and allows me to get in a golf position so I can swing and hit the ball. So you so you swing your golf club standing up, most definitely. That's crazy, and, yeah. but that's how I came across you, though. Yeah, you know, what I mean, walking rich, that's a guy that golf. You yeah. know what I mean? that's a, you know, what I mean, that's a Tiger Woods. You, <laughs> know what I mean? you feel me? But no, like that's that's dope because me seeing that. That let me know that I can do it. Nah, and what definitely. happened? Me and yeah, you, we nah, got together, right. and, we, and you yeah. brought me out there, and I did it. No, nah, most definitely. And you that's what it's all about. It, that's what the community exactly. is about. You know what I mean? Like, exactly. But people need to see it. But I feel like, you know, I feel like. like I was out there on the ooh. basketball court, mascot fly, and all of yeah. them. Like, them dudes, they knocked me down. I'm like, oh, yeah, y'all balling. Let's do it. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I'm competitive. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So. Like, mm-hmm. you know, like, they, like, at the end, they like, man, you ain't never thought about playing basketball. I'm like, yeah, I thought about it, but I ain't trying to get hurt. Like, yeah. I'm I'm already hurt. Like, yeah. you know what I'm like, I'm like, yeah. like, you know, like, what happened if I break my arm playing basketball, bro? Yeah. Now what I'm going to use to trans, like, bro, exactly. I, I just, I just rather just go off a little something, a little more, yeah. a little Let's contact. Let's yeah, contact. Yeah, a little more, a little more calculated, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And Okay. You know, it's a network sport. You get what I'm saying? It's mm-hmm. a sport that teaches you teaches you about life. You get what I'm saying? It's just all around great sport. Yeah. Okay. So you a family man. You a father. You a golfer. Is there anything else that you do? Um, you know, I'm an entrepreneur and a businessman as well. Okay. So, okay. So, tell us about some of the businesses that you do. Um, I have like um, I print and design stuff for different brands. Okay. And, you know, I have like um, we do like 
DTF prints for, you know, different people and stuff like that, where we print, like, um, like the things um, for people to press onto their garments and stuff like yeah. that. Uh, then I have uh, my detail company, and then, you know. Uh, Hold up. A detailing co- Hold up. So you mean to tell me. <laughs> You got a detailing company? No, nah, most definitely. Yeah. For real? Yeah. So, hold on, hold on. But is it you detailing the cars or is it somebody else that detailing? Um, now, you know, I'm starting to move into actually, like, finding different people. And, like, okay. me, I'm trying to manage the situation just because, you know, that's what makes yeah. sense. Like, I'm just trying to yeah. play chess instead of checkers. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But initially, I started detailing the cars. Like, and every now and then, my employee might not show up. I might not have no help. And I still might uh. have to get out there and do it, you know? That's crazy. You see, but that's what the people need to see, though. Nah, I'm you feel me? Because, yeah, I might have act shocked, but I knew that. You know yeah. what I mean? I saw that. <laughs> I see that. You know what I mean? And it's like, damn, like, damn, you know what? If Rich can do that shit, I can do it, too. Nah, I'm, not, you you right. I'm about to detail the Hellcat. Hell yeah, but that's exactly what, like, like I said, that's exactly what they need to see. Like, somebody out there, they probably have a dream of, you know, you know, Maybe having a mobile detailing business, and then they go on your page. I they go see Walking Rich, and you know, look, damn, if Rich can do it, I can do it. And then now they out there doing it. Almost definitely, you know what I mean. So that's exactly what it's all about. And I look, I really appreciate everything that you're doing, as far as like you know, from the daddy daughter content. Uh, fashion, you know what I mean? From, too, like yeah, you know, it's no exactly. limit to fatherhood. Like being in the, you know, like you know, it's dudes. Mm-hmm. Like, like bro, like you know, I'm in the wheelchair, and I got a daughter too, bro. I appreciate it. Like you know what I'm saying? So, but that's motivating for anybody uh, for people that's. Not in wheelchairs. No, you know what I mean? Like, and what's so crazy is I remember, uh, you know, like a few weeks, like a, maybe like two, three months ago, because I, like, I wrote you on that post too. You know what I mean? And like, I remember like this post going viral. Like, like I seen it on World Star. I'm like, hold up, that's my boy Rich. No, that's definitely. my boy Rich. You know what I mean? Definitely. Like, like, and just seeing that with the daddy daughter content, it's just like, damn. Like, you know what I mean? My boy Rich finally getting recognized for the daddy daughter content because, like, you know what I mean? Like, how you put her in the car, like, like just doing that, like, that's something that people don't get to see. No, and fact. you know, to to have that video seen over forty million times, no, you know what I mean? Definitely. Like, that's. That's major, my no, boy. Fact. And I, that's like you, like like the world saw that. The like, world saw like, that. You know what I'm saying? Bro, Different it, people from all around the world saw that. Like, exactly. You know, like forty million people. You got like, people speaking different language in your comments. That you like, man. You got like different celebrities. Like, 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 yeah. like I say, like social media, like gives me anxiety. Like, mm-hmm. so like I've tried to like. It's probably like thirty two thousand comments or something like. Yeah. Like so, like I like tried to like go through the comments and bro, like, it's and then I'll possible. see like I've seen like rant, bro. I've seen like Busta Rhymes, ASAP Ferg, like that's I'm like, a, bro, I, like that's what I was about I'm to like, ask bro, you. these is like legends, bro. Like, yeah. was there anybody that you saw in it that you was just like completely shocked? Like, damn, I can't believe this person saw it, bro, bro. Like all type of people, like, um, who's the most like shocking one that you saw? Bro, it's like Viola Davis. Um, yeah. What's um, what's Drake people's name? Like uh, the OVO Jay people? Prince and oh, like, bro, yeah. like yeah, like Dang. it was like crazy. Like, like crazy. I'm like, but, bro, but OVO, for, like I'm forty like, million like, people though. Yeah, like forty. He probably million like Drake. People. Look at this. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you never like, know. You know you like never real, know. like and not that like it's important, but like. Really, like, for the brand, really for, like, building the awareness, like, you yeah. get what I'm saying? Like, just putting on for the wheelchair users, like, you know that's what, nah, what it's about. Nah, like, bro, like, you you know what? Yeah, but you putting on for dads everywhere, though. No, nah, most definitely. You know like, what I mean? But but I ain't gonna lie. Like, you putting on for the like, community, especially too, Especially, like, black fathers, like, exactly. you know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. It's just, like, you know, so, it's, it's dope, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's dope to, like... Not like being in my lane, my own lane, like I'm recreating the wheel or anything, because yeah. I'm definitely not. Like, but just to like find something that works for you. You get yeah. what I'm saying? And um, like to have my daughter and her be a part of it, and like you know, like to like when we out in public, like it's not just like me. Like it's just like like they're like, can I get a picture with both of y'all? Like, and sometimes I'm like, wait, like this is my baby. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, I'm like, nah, she's a part of, like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, she's a part like, of this. Not, yeah. This is not a baby for real. Like, this yeah. is your baby, but this is not a, like, 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 this is, this is a person. 
Like, mm-hmm. and that's what people need to realize. Like, that's what like people need to realize about like babies and kids. And like, yeah, like, we always like that's a kid. He don't know no better. Uh, mm-hmm. No, no, that's a person. He does yeah. know better. Yeah. Right. Do you feel like that she had to kind of like mature a little bit faster with a dad that's in a wheelchair? Um. No, nah, I try. I mean, you know, I don't think so. Like, I, I honestly try to like, even when it comes to like me being in pain and my frustrations and stuff. Like, I just try to like, you know, like that don't have nothing to do with her. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So I try to keep her out of it. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like, I've always been like kind of big on that. Like, mm-hmm. even with my nephews and stuff and my yeah. nieces, like. You know, what we do as adults is what we do as adults. Like, we don't yeah. need to bring the kids into it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Okay. Now, I seen, okay, so 40 million views across the internet. And then you end up on the Tamara Hall show. How was that experience for you? It was a dope experience. Yeah. Like, uh, they flew us out to New York. Um, uh, me, Riley's mom, um, and Riley. Um, so... It was good to go on a trip, you know what I'm saying, like as a family and just, you know, experience that, yeah, like okay. getting picked up at the, uh, somebody, somebody at the with, a sign, with a sign with and shit, sign, yeah. like, you know what I mean? and yeah, like, that's an amazing feeling. Like, you know, just everything was about us for that weekend, yeah. you get what I'm saying, like, they're like, yo, Mr. Dog, you got everything, y'all good, y'all, you need anything, yeah. like, you know, like. And what's so crazy is, you know, that. That experience came from this, right? From this right here, picking up the phone, filming like somebody picking up the phone and filming you. Yeah, that's why I, I like I tell people all the time like our life, everything is content. Well, that's Film what? everything. Yeah, everything. Yeah, you know what I mean. One because you never know who's watching. Yeah, like you said, Buster Rhymes, ASAP Ferg, Viola Davis, yeah. like all these people. Or in who your can comments. use the yeah, content exactly. to like, you know, like yes. figure out their life. Like, yes, yes. And like, I, like where some dudes like, oh damn, I was figuring out, trying to figure out how I was gonna get my groceries up. Good luck. Yeah, and, and, you know, but I'm pretty sure that there's somebody in the wheelchair that's like, you know what? If Rich can do it, I can do it. Almost that. Like I see, how Rich put his daughter in the car. You know what? I can do the same thing for sure. You know what I mean? So. Man, that's big. Yeah. That's big. Now, all right. Is there anything that you want to do, like in the future? Like, is there any goals that you have that you eat, like you're setting right now that you want to kind of, you know, try to work on, try to build towards, you know, like moving forward now? Um, I just want to continue to, you know, just be the best dad that I can be, the yeah. best father I can be. Okay. Um, just be a better family man, and mm-hmm. um, just continue to push the brand, and um, yeah. continue to, you know. Push the envelope for the, you know, wheelchair community and, uh, like, you know, I want to, you know, uh, get to the um, highest level of, um, you know, competition as far as golf at the U.S. Adaptive Open. I actually have a qualifier for that on uh, the 29th, so. Okay. um, And if I qualify, I'll go out to play in the U.S. Adaptive Open in July, so. You know, Mm. so I'm figuring that out, you know, trying to figure out, like, sponsorship side, trying to figure out the business yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, at the end of the day, like, you know, you have a lot of followers or, you know, if you don't have, you know, effective ways to monetize it and, you know, if you don't have merchandise and different things, you know, just knowledge you're selling or whatever yeah. it is, you get what I'm saying, services you're offering, like, you know, it's not really, you just a popular dude, you know what I'm saying? So you're not really, like, capitalizing and making the the, the Yep, the the best of it. So you know that's you know where I'm at right now. Is like I said, is like I'm trying to play chess. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. tired of playing checkers. You feel me? I'm tired mm-hmm. of the run around. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Being in the same position. You know, mentally, financially, spiritually. You know what I'm saying? So you know, I'm just trying to grow, bro. I um, feel. You. I feel. You. Now, is there anything that you would like to let the people know out there? Like, okay, all right, so for anybody that's newly injured, is there any advice that you would give them that's watching you right now? Um, yeah, um, any advice that I would give to somebody that's newly injured, um, you know, is uh, just uh, try to um, indulge in the community and um, yes. try to uh, just, you know, follow as many wheelchair users, mm-hmm. you know. Um, over time, you might not like, you know, certain ones. You might just be like, oh, this content isn't really for me over time. Yeah. That's okay. You get what yeah. I'm saying? Because you grow. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. As a user, you'll grow. You ain't got like everybody. Yeah. You, you know? get what I'm saying? And, um, 
you know, but it's just mainly about just getting out there and just seeing the different things that you're able to do. Just seeing the mm-hmm. dudes out there that's like Aaron Wills that's out there on, you know, wheelchair MX and, you know, Trevor Kennison that's out there, you know, walking Mon- rich, Monoski, walking know, rich, doing the adaptive, adaptive golf, golf, you know, know what I mean? doing the entrepreneurship, uh, facts, you know, detailing, I mean? exactly. you know, just, you know, just doing everything like, you know, just, you know, even what you do, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, you, you, you make it look good, bro. You, you know what I'm saying? Just, you, 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 you have a, a swagger about yourself and you get what I'm saying? You inspire people just, you know, with a, with a bright smile and yeah. you get what I'm saying? And just, you know, just, just, just carrying yourself in a certain way, having a certain pride about yourself. You get what I'm saying? And, you know, um, there's all different type of people out in the world. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And all these different people need these different uh, um, examples. So, you get what I'm saying? Like, you know, then once you are in a position to, um, you know, once you've indulged in the community, like, you know, you got to pay it forward. And yeah. you got to become one of those people that's, you know, displaying the things that you've learned and displaying the you know, the things that you've overcome in your life so that way you can help and pay it forward and somebody can and be an inspiration to somebody. You just can't suck the inspiration out the community, bro, and not put it back in. Exactly. Because then at the end, what do we have? Mm-hmm. So. I agree. Well, look, my man, I appreciate everything that you're doing as far as the daddy-daughter content because, you know, for somebody who who can't wait to be a father eventually, like, that's something that I look up to. Okay. And that's something that, that really inspires me, you know, because – like, I know I'm going to get there one day. No, and definitely. to see that you're doing it, it lets me know that I can do it. Oh, you know, I appreciate you t- I appreciate you taking me out on the golf course and really giving me that experience and giving me that memory because it's something that, you know, like, I really kind of hold up high. You know, like, being like I never thought I would ever golf. Yeah. You know, and you got me out there. No, most definitely. So, I, so like, I, I really appreciate that, man. Like, I appreciate you I coming out, you know, making the trip down to L.A., you feel me, and just being open-minded to try new things, you get what I'm yeah. saying? And, like, I had a guy, you know, he came out to one of the clinics, and the first time he just, like, kind of, like, swung out his chair, and he, like, he looked at the paragrapher, and he, like, nah, I'm cool, bro. Like I said the same thing, you know, and you was like, nah, stand up, stand up. Right. And then you got the thing, you started shaking in the side of that, yeah, you know what I mean? No, but right. but that kind of got me, that kind of got me comfortable, you no, know what right. I mean? So, like, it was kind of how you made me feel like getting out there. You yeah. made me feel like, look, you can do this. No, you fact. can do this, you know what I mean? So, it was kind of like, in so many ways, like, you pushing me, even when I didn't have the confidence to do it, it was like, you kind of gave me that boost that I needed. No, most definitely. You know what I mean? But you had so, the open mind to start. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I appreciate it, and, and I definitely... There was no way I was going to be able to get your big ass in the chair. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, if you don't yeah. start to get in the chair, it's like, I don't have the... You feel me? I don't even have a platform or the 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 the... the, the the ability to get you to the next level because you didn't even start. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So Yeah, so look, man, I appreciate you getting me out there. I appreciate everything that you're doing. I can't look, I'm excited to see what you got going on, you know, you know, moving forward because this is only the beginning. No, this is only definitely. the beginning, my man. Like and it's like you you got so much for you got so much more to do. You got so much more to grow. No, you know, and I, and I can't wait to see it. No, most definitely. And I appreciate you having us. And, um, you know, and when I say us, the brand, myself, yes. and, you know, and like I say, like my daughter, she's a part of everything I do. Mm-hmm. So, like, when I say us, it's just more than myself. You get what I'm saying? So I appreciate you having us and, you know, thinking about us and, you know, you know, just allowing us to be a part of what it is that you're doing, too. I appreciate it, my man. Most but look, I appreciate you coming on the podcast. Thank you. Okay. All right, my boy. We out. We out.